Okay, I wanted to show you one more great example of when the match total exposure trick works. Like I said, when it works, it's brilliant, um, but it doesn't always work. <laughs> but here's an example of you've got this image here, and then you can see I put little stars on them to make them easy to see. All of these images were taken at the exact same time in an exact same place, but the exposure changed quite a bit from one image to the next. You can see normally if we hold the shift key and click a bunch of images, it selects them all. And if I were to go in here and push sync, in theory, these would all look the same. But you can see if we compare a couple of these, their, the exposure is very different. Come on, computer, you can do it. There you go. The exposure is very different. So what you could do real quickly, I'm sorry, let me get into the develop mode. Real quickly, you can highlight all of the images. This is your anchor image, and you can tell because it's a little bit brighter. The label is brighter. These are more grayed out. Just go to settings, match total exposure, and watch these all change. And now you will notice that the exposure is almost identical. So when it works, it's just brilliant. And again, I wanted to show you that you can also do the shortcut. I don't normally do that. For me, it's just easier to go up here and use the drop down menu. There is a keyboard shortcut. So if you prefer keyboard sh shortcuts, it's Shift, Option, Command, M. Um, and I believe that it's Shift, Option, Control, M um, with PC. But it works exactly the same way. But for me, I don't have a, a great enough stretch and I have to take my hand off the mouse and use both hands to do the shortcut. So I normally don't use that, but it's there if you want it. All right, let me know what you want to learn next. Okay, bye.